Did you know that you can radically improve your prayer life with one simple shift in the way that you approach prayer? Hi, I'm Jeremy, and welcome to Refresh, where I love to produce content that will refresh your spirit, refresh your mind, and refresh your vision. Today, we continue our series with Mike Betts. If you missed the first part, you may want to click the card at the top of the screen. Today, we're going to talk about how changing the way we approach prayer can actually bring new life and vitality to our prayer. Anecdotally, I, I came, it might even be in the book, there's a, there's a, a quote or a, an anecdote. Um, someone once said to Pavarotti, the opera singer, or to become as good as you in, in, in your voice, your voice must require a lot of discipline. And his re retort, his reply was, no, I'm not disciplined, I'm devoted. Mm. Um, and I think the difference is devotion is um, it, an expression of love that draws you to something. Discipline um, is something that you might do in order to gain something you want. Now the two might sound quite um, similar uh, and in some ways they are connected but I think the route to healthy disciplines must start from the fountain of devotion mm -hmm. rather than if we start with discipline I don't think we necessarily end up with devotion. Right. Because if we start with devotion, then laying a disciplined approach into our desire to be to facilitate our devotedness makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess that's where I'm coming out. I I I, uh, I think if we approach our prayer lives as oh I've got to be disciplined about this. We, we can we can possibly just bypass the heart of it, which is it's to deepen the relationship and to ask our father the things. I mean, you don't need to be disciplined to ask for things; you need to just need to be devoted to, to the one who you know is devoted to you. Mm -hmm. So it's trying to touch the heart of it rather than the, than the mechanics of it. It's amazing that one simple mind shift can have such a profound effect. And hey. If you enjoyed this video, why not click the like button? I would love to hear what you think as well in the comments below. And if you are leaving a comment, I would love to hear whether prayer has been something that springs from discipline or devotion for you. And remember, this is a menu series. So if you don't want to miss the next video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you get notifications. Well, that's all for today. Until next time, Keep looking upwards, keep moving onwards, and I will see you in the next video.